what happened was when I first came to Barrows, I was teaching uh, in the school here, teacher principal, probably about 20 years ago. And Farron Cook asked me if I would do an evening adult fiddle class. And I said, yeah, for sure. And so we started uh, once a week, and there was about a dozen of us from the community. Uh, won't go through everybody's name. Everybody knows who it is. And uh, so we, we did, we started doing fiddle, and then as a group we decided we'd go to the Emma Lake Fiddle Camp, which is a pretty well-known fiddle camp, you know, the Saskatchewan. So we raised some money and we went there in the summer and uh, we became, we got really inspired. What we saw there was musicians gathering, uh, sort of a uh, non-family uh, type of atmosphere and people learned to play guitar and fiddle and banjo and all kinds of things. And when, after we came home, we decided as a group that we'd like to bring that energy to the community of Barrows. And so we started the Under the Porcupine Fiddle Camp. Uh, well, it wasn't just a fiddle camp, it was a music camp. You take uh, guitar and banjo and bass and, and voice and dance. Also, dance was a big part of it. And so we ran a fiddle camp for nine years. And we have some uh, had amazing instructors and musicians that have been here. And uh, that's the story of the Under the Porcupine uh, music celebration of music and dance. And this year, we, we haven't done it for six years, and we put a reunion together. We brought uh, together all the artists, uh, or the, sorry, the musicians, and uh, we gathered here and had this reunion that's, gonna, that's being documented now. So. As a first timer at this event, this has just been a whole lot of fun. The jam was just absolutely amazing with tons of fun people and it's awesome meeting people who've had such a history with the, uh, the whole area and with each other. Yeah, it's the very beginning. It was Farron was working in the community and he was doing some really neat things. And the community has always done a lot of really neat things. They had the, the Barrels Music Festival last weekend and it sort of seems like there's uh, uh, lots of neat things happening. It's really small community barrels. There's really only like 80 people here, but music has been a big part of the history of this community. A lot of musicians came out of here, a lot of uh, over the years, and and you hear the stories of what life was like here in the 40s and 50s and 60s, and people were gathering and playing music. So, what what's happening here is not something new. It really goes deep into the roots of the community, the music and the type of music that totally connected to Métis culture and Cree culture and, uh, and old time fiddle music. And yeah, it just resonates with the community because this is really a big part of the history and the culture. For me, because and Daniel as well, like we we've, we've been here since the very first under the porcupine. So, for uh, for me, anyways, like coming back here and seeing uh, the faces that were just beginning the fiddle and uh, now have progressed into like really great players and 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 and, meet, and meeting up with old friends like Daniel and some people, some fellow instructors I haven't seen for a couple of years. It's I got a little bit of a tinge when I'm driving up and getting closer and just remembering the the days gone by of driving here in the summer and having the camp and you don't think about the memories sometimes until you get right back into the spot where you made those memories and then it's it, yeah so it's special I there was a few special moments for me last night and I'm sure there will be tonight as well and for, for me I agree with JJ I mean the the most important thing about the music is that it provides a context for getting together and community so it's really really a nice feeling to see these people like old friends and we have these 
wonderful memories with. So it's been a great, a great day and a half so far and looking forward to the evening. What Under the Porcupine means to me is like, I've been here for the past eight years and I came here every summer and I loved it. I learned new tunes, made new friends. And what it means to me is, it inspired me to get back into my fiddling. Like instead of giving up, like which I would not do, like teachers told me to always keep trying and trying and trying. Well, music has been my entire life. Cause my, I grew up to the sound of my dad practicing the bass and the fiddle and the banjo. It's kind of the soundtrack to my life, and uh, he used to always bring me up to these to these camps, and then I fell in love with the music, and that's what I do with my life now. So Under the Porcupine is one of my earliest memories uh, of a fiddle camp. I came here when I was pretty little. I don't actually remember how old I was. I think I must have been 11 or 12. And uh, it's just amazing to be back here as an adult. My dad is Blaine Klippenstein. So I've been probably involved since it began and just watched it grow. Music means to me, it's a community, people getting together, um, celebrating culture and having fun. <laughs> I've been a blind musician all my life. I've played uh, a lot of different instruments. As far as fiddle camps go, I like the camaraderie of it and getting together with the people. A lot of these instructors here I know from other camps as well. Ready. No, I'm sure glad to be back. I uh, just, just ran into uh, Daniel and uh, he scares me because he's one of the greatest musicians I've ever met and this lady that's, uh, that I can feel with my right elbow. Uh, I've always admired her and it's nice to see her and JJ Guy and the first guy I ran in here today was a uh, dear, dear old friend and uh, he bought me a beer already and everything and uh, it's, I'm talking about Cameron Baggins. <laughs> I borrowed money from him years ago and he just asked me to pay him back. You know what, most of them I've played before in some form. Because I've known a lot of these instructors for about nine or ten years, maybe seven or eight for some of them, um, while there's been new tunes, pretty much when they get together and jam, they know all the standards, or at least the standards over here according to where we live. Like uh, the girl I'm with, Annie, she lives in America and she knows different tunes. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting for her to be here and go, I know this one, I know this one, oh, I don't know this one, I don't know this one. But uh, she's been hanging out and having a good time too. Uh, I think music is so important because it is um, one of the foundations of creating a really healthy community. Um, it gives kids something really healthy and healing to do. It facilitates bonding between kids and their parents and their grandparents, and so it brings generations together. Um, and it's a way of learning in a really positive environment, so it teaches kids that they can learn um, and be really successful, and they can take what they learned and do something really fun with it, like hanging out with their friends, um, gets them off of their phones, they're uh, being social and uh, learning how to interact appropriately with their peers and with their parents and their grandparents as well. So bringing a community together is probably its most important function. Blaine Klippenstein put this camp together I'm not even sure how many years ago now, I want to say 10. Um, and it has brought a lot of people together in a way that um, we missed when the camp ended. And this uh, weekend has been really re-energizing and um, rich with friendships and music. And uh, it reminded me how much I love music and why I do what I do. 
So thank you, Blaine. Thank you. Well, music has been my whole life. I started the fiddle when I was four. And, uh, but I feel like when Under the Porcupine started, that's when I did the most growing. Um, just this collection of people. Uh, the, the love between us and the, and the camaraderie and just the excellent musicians in me made me grow as a musician and as a performer and I feel like this is where I finally became who I was meant to be. So it's been, it's really meant a lot in my life. Look forward to it every year. And the students were just uh, amazing. They grew up with us and so it's been really amazing to come back and see some of them as adults and see how music has touched their lives too because I think music brings everybody together. There's no life without music. And uh, I'm sad when this ended, but it's a part of me all the time. I think it's part of us all the time. A lot of us see each other uh, throughout the year, and it's a bond that we just carry all the time because something special about Barrows and Under the Porcupine. So what was your part in organizing all this? Uh, I guess I, st I guess I was uh, I was the director back way back then uh, before we started uh, under the porcupine, and I went I went and talked to Blaine about uh, starting uh, an adult fiddle club that uh, some, just have something different because the adults never had nothing. It was all, we always had, had the kids busy going, and from there we went to uh, a fiddle camp up in Emma Lake, and uh, and everybody got excited about that and we came back and said well let's maybe we can have one you know and we got to know the instructors that were out there and that uh, especially Dawn I think and she was amazing there she was she was my teachers I st even I started fiddle but and uh, and we asked if hey could you how do you guys like to come to Barrows you know and uh, Blaine had some connections with all through the Norton and with all the instructors and I said well you know here's our plan and they all came aboard and we're sure glad they were. Now we have uh, a big family from the East Coast right to the West Coast. Uh, all the people that came out to participate, uh, whether it be the students or not, everybody got to know each other for a number of years. And it doesn't matter where you see them nowadays, say, hey, we know you. Uh, we were under the point of the porcupine. started this under the porcupine many years ago as a camp and instruction on average we had between a hundred students at each each year we had it running for four days and I think it really inspired a lot of our students to carry on in the music and you know what music is good for our soul and you'll never forget what you learned so it carries on and I think it's really uh, developed lots of young people. Lots of them have gone on to a music school. Lots of them are teachers now. So I think it was a real excellent thing to do. So this is our grand finale. And uh, it's good to see some of our past students come. And probably 95% of our instructors have made it, so that's very good. I'd like to thank everybody for coming and everybody for supporting us through the years. And we've been talking as a committee and we might have something coming up. We'll see how our funding carries on. And if you haven't been here and if we do carry on, please come next year. You're missing out. We got first class musicians here and they're wonderful people. And we have a wonderful community here free camping so if we do carry on for next year have some small event please come out thank you very much